ESPN 94.1 FM at 8 930 present The Drive. Brought to you by Huntington Federal Savings Bank. Local then, local now. Member FDIC. Welcome into the Wednesday, August 28th edition. Your drive begins now on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. I'm your host, Paul Swan. Thanks for joining me today. You can, of course, be a part of the Miller Lite program phone lines. That's right. They're sponsored. 877-420-TALK, 877-420-8255. Miller Lite, hold true, great taste, only 96 calories. It is the original light beer. We're also presented today by Huntington Federal Savings Bank, so we appreciate them. And we've got a busy show. We've got an abbreviated show today because uh, here on the flagship station, okay, the only station, but still the flagship station of the uh, of the Pulse One Network here. Uh, we've got baseball coming up today, so the uh, Pirates are in action today. That's coming up about 540, so we're going to uh, bow out early, so we got to get it all in. Now, coming up on the program today, We've got David Kahn from West Virginia Power. The Power are getting close to wrapping up their season, so we're going to talk to David. He's coming up here in a few short minutes, so sort of a, a, a brief respite, if you will, from football, hot dog wars, everything else. We're just going to take a quick break from that. But we've also got the Marcelo Latterman Memorial Scholarship auction winners. We're going to go over those winners. And, of course, as you just heard in the background, uh, the phones always sometimes when you make an all page will go over the air. So we're going to have the Marcelo Letterman Memorial Scholarship Auction winners. We'll talk about that. And uh, I've got the basketball schedule, by the way. I don't know if you knew that. I've got the basketball schedule. It is out today, and you've got plenty of games to go to. Now, the exhibition schedule, we knew most of these games, but let me just run them down. You know, conference, I'll, I'll slow up when we get to conference. You know those already. But – Glenville State and Royal Grand are going to be uh, exhibition games. Season underway officially non-exhibition November 7th as the Herd will play host to Robert Morris on November 7th and then Marshall will entertain Toledo on November 10th. Then the Herd's going to be on the road at Notre Dame on Friday, November 15th. Then back home on Tuesday, November 19th against the College of Charleston. Thursday, November 21st, taking on Howard. And then on Friday, November 29th, the Herds on the road, taking on Florida. Then we come back home to the Cam Henderson Center. Wednesday, December 4th, it'll be Marshall taking on Akron. And then on Sunday, December 8th, the Herd on the road, sort of a a home-and-home series this year with Toledo. So at Toledo on December 8th. And then Wednesday, December 11th, the Herds going to entertain Bluefield State. Monday, December 16th, Marshall on the road, taking on, well, one of my favorite rivals, Moorhead State. And then Thursday, December 19th, the Herds taking on Eastern Kentucky. And if that wasn't enough for you, on Sunday, December 22nd, at Northern Iowa. Sunday, December 29th, going to be taking on Duquesne in Cleveland. Thursday, January 2nd taking on Rice at home to kick off the Conference USA schedule. You know the rest. And, of course, if you don't, it's Rice, North Texas here, Middle Tennessee, UAB on the road, Charlotte, Old Dominion, Western Kentucky here, then Western Kentucky, Florida International, Florida Atlantic on the road, Southern Mississippi, Louisiana Tech here, UTSA, UTEP on the road. Bonus play dates, February 22nd, February 27th, March 1st, March 4th, March 7th. And I hope the second and last year of the bonus play, which, again, I'm not a fan of. We'll see. I don't think it's going to help out much. I think this is going to be still a one-bid league. I don't think you're going to see this springboard a second team as an at-large in the NCAA tournament what will springboard a second team is having two really good teams, two dominant teams inside and outside of conference, and then everybody else just uh, okay, I think. I don't think you can have too competitive of an upper echelon. I think you could have one super dominant team or maybe two super dominant teams. Maybe Marshall can be one of those teams. I just don't see a second team getting in. We'll see, though. Season hasn't even started yet, so that's just me speculating. But that's the schedule. What do you like there? 
course, the game against Notre Dame, I like that on the road. That's a really nice one. Florida, that's a nice game to have as well. And then you've got a must-play. Moorhead State, you got to play Moorhead State all the time. That just makes sense. And Duquesne's a good game. I like that one as well. Uh, Eastern Kentucky, that's okay. I mean, they're a regional rival of sorts, playing on Thursday, December 19th. And you got Akron. Akron's not bad. That's, that's a good game. That's, that's close by. Geography plays a factor in some of these games. Toledo, okay, that's not a bad one to have as well. Again, you know, you're going into the Mid-American Conference days. Uh, you're playing College of Charleston. That's going to be a, a pretty good one, I would think. Uh, Howard. And, of course, College of Charleston, Howard, Florida. Those are um, right within that same frame of, of time there. Notre Dame. You know, so you, you got a pretty good November. I think. All in all, you can't really say that there's a bad game on the schedule. Robert Morris, yeah, that's okay, too. Uh, there's signature games, and, of course, that's Florida. I think that's your signature game along with Notre Dame. Those are your two big signature games. And then uh, I would put in uh, playing Moorhead State, again, is a must. It's just some early impressions of the schedule here, and uh, hopefully uh, we can get Danny down the line to talk a little bit about it as well as um, what his thoughts are uh, coming up here. October 29th is when exhibition season begins for the Thundering Herd, so it's a lot closer than you think. And, of course, football season is almost here as well. Marcelo Weiderman Memorial Scholarship wrapping up today the auction that we had. Uh, I will try to go over everything in detail towards the end of the show because, well, that's the deal here. Uh, You bid, you win, I tell you about it. Uh, I'll just run it over real quick, and we'll go over it again uh, before the end of the show. But um, we start with that nice herd pin. Uh, Mark Subic wins that, so congratulations to Mark from Huntington. Uh, Rick Neely wins the ring. He is uh, from Proctorville, so appreciate Rick for being a part of that. Uh, Joshua Lucas gets those Tennessee tickets. Wheelersburg, Ohio representing, so thanks, Joshua, for that. Dave Turley wins the, uh, the football and uh, he's representing Barbersville. So we got a nice mix of people here. Um, golf bag, Teresa Lawrence representing Huntington. So uh, congratulations to uh, Teresa for winning the golf bag. And finally, uh, my sheet here of winners, um, that beautiful print. Really, it's a reproduction of, um, of the winning score uh, in 1971. Xavier game, Dave Turley, he wins the bid there. And um, he got a good deal for $76. This is a good auction. Thanks for everyone participating. We'll do it again coming soon in the spring. We do it in the spring and the fall, give you an opportunity to uh, get some really nice stuff. And then again, uh, the real reason we're doing all this is to support the Marcelo Latterman Memorial Golf Tournament. So that's what we've got as far as the auctions concerned. And uh, if you want to check out some of the auctions, uh, you can go to auctions.kindredcharities.org and you can see what's going on there. And uh, you can bookmark that page. We'll have the auctions for the next uh, round of uh, items coming up here in a few short months. All right, when we come back from break, we got David Kahn joining us from the West Virginia Power. He's my next guest. And then uh, when we come back after that, we'll get you set for some baseball. That's right, we got baseball action tonight. We're leaving the airwaves a little early. So... We'll get it all in and hopefully have some time to spare when we continue with today's edition of The Drive, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. This is The Drive with Paul Swan on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Quick reminder, we've got Pirates baseball coming up tonight. We go on the air at 540. You can catch all the Pirates action the rest of the year right here on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Baseball season starting to wind down. Uh, a little bit longer to go in the majors and in the minor league. Things are starting to wrap up. David Kahn from the West Virginia Power is joining us now to uh, talk to us about what happened today. Not only a disappointing outing for the Power um, they had to do it twice. Um, yesterday, a uh, game against Lexington uh, postponed, so they had a doubleheader today. David's with us on the program now. I mean, what's worse than losing a game? It's losing two on the same day. Correct. Yeah, there's there's nothing worse than, than you lose one game, you're like, all right, you take it off, you go back and try it again, and then you lose again. Uh, obviously, you know, just, just not the day for the power. Uh, only six total hits for the offense, but 
you got to give credit where credit is due. The uh, the Legends got outstanding pitching performances from Carlos Hernandez, Charlie Neuweiler, and uh, and they, the Powers offense wasn't able to uh, to get it done today. Uh, you know, the, the good part is he gets to play again tomorrow. Uh, obviously, it's been a weird series with the first game getting outright canceled and the second game getting postponed. Uh, it, it's it's very it's very interesting to you know, just see how that all plays out when we really haven't had any weather affected this year. This is our first game on Monday when it got canceled. It was our first game of the season that got officially wiped out. We were slated to play all 140, and now the max we can play is 139. We've got one more game, as you mentioned, um, tomorrow with Lexington, and then you come back home and you got to wrap things up with Greensboro. What's the mood as uh, as we speak? I know they got to be down today. They'll shake that off. But we're getting down to the final few days of baseball for some of these guys. Um, I mean, what's uh, what's the mindset? I mean, it's weird because you've been playing, you've been doing the same thing and the same routine for, for some of these guys for seven or eight months, and you've got five days left. So it, it's certainly interesting. Uh the, the guys are still very lighthearted and, and you know having uh, having a, you know an enjoyable time being together and hanging out. But you know five days from now, a lot of these guys are going to go back to their homes and you know start working out in the off season. You know some of these guys will go to the Mariners High Performance Camp, some will go to the Fall League, some will go play winter ball. You know it it, it depends. But this will be the last time that this team is fully together again, and it's it's certainly tough to to say that when this group has been so tight knit and so close for the entire season that you kind of look at it and go, really? Like the season's over. And it, it just, it just kind of, it, it doesn't feel right that the season is over. Paul, I'll tell you that much. It really does not feel right that the season is coming to a close. David Kahn's joining us from the West Virginia power, the power losing a doubleheader today, back in action tomorrow on the road, Lexington, then the final homestand of the season. And then, um, we don't know what's going to happen next because, well, these guys are going to part and David's going to um, to ship off to UCLA. I mean, do they actually just um, you actually go to you actually go to UCLA country? Do they they, they ship you out west to to do your second job? How's that, that would work? no, that would be very nice. So how that works is I work for uh, Learfield IMG College, which is a huge company that has an audio division based in Winston Salem, North Carolina. And we run all of the college broadcasts for UCLA and about 75 or 80 other schools out of that building. So uh, I am I go back to North Carolina and I sit there and listen to the broadcast. I produce the commercials. I put them on the air. I you know track live reads. I also uh, studio host the pregame, halftime, and postgame show. Uh, it's a very UCLA is a very involved broadcast. I'm actually preparing for it a little bit right now, which uh, you know the the helpfulness of having a double header uh, in the day game allows me to get other stuff done afterwards. Because usually when you play a double header at night, you're so tired you just want to go to bed. Yeah, it do, doesn't help when um, doesn't help when you uh, you get a phone call from someone yesterday uh, and you're like about ready to do a coaching <laughs> show. That, that doesn't help. I mean, true story. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was yeah, dr- but I wouldn't have answered. I, I would. I was just waiting for somebody to connect. I, w- I wouldn't have answered if I was as close as I as you thought I was to the show. I still had okay. about forty five minutes. Oh, but, but okay. No, so I, I'm driving down the road thinking, man, I, I'm really sorry that I caught him at that time. No, I, yeah, I, I had. No, a- you're fine. I just I wasn't sure when they were going to connect, so I was trying to be available. <laughs> if they did connect, but I wanted to hear what you had to say too. Yeah, um, no, you but, really didn't want to hear that yesterday. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, it, no, you're fine. It, David Kahn's my guest, my friend David Kahn from the West Virginia Power uh, on the program with us. So, uh, but that's that's why I'll always answer your phone call, Paul, because we are friends. I appreciate so if you that. Call me, I'm going to pick up the phone. I do appreciate that. No, genuinely, I, I really do appreciate that. So. Um, We've got the uh, we've got the home stand coming up, so the fans that uh, come out to show their support for the West Virginia Power, uh, they're they're going to be showered with gifts, right? Is that how it works? Showered with gifts the entire weekend? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, it's the final four games of the season. We're we're not making the playoffs. That is that is determined. We are not advancing our season. So I mean, it's it's the last chance to come see the team until next April. Um, you know, the 2020 schedule will be out soon. The promotions will be out after that. And there's stuff to look forward to, but 
if you're feeling nostalgic about baseball and you think, oh, the season's wrapping up, well, we've got four games left. Come out and support us. Uh, we'd love to have you. We've got some great things lined up for this weekend. Uh, we've got some interesting stuff coming up for the offseason that we're going to be announcing soon. Uh, it, it, you know, it's, it's always a great time to come out of the ballpark, but the last homestand is always so surreal because you finish and it's not like, okay, now we got to get ready for the next homestand. It's, oh, we're done. Oh, oh, what do we do now? And then, and then you kind of, you do that. And then it's like, oh, well, now we got to get ready for next season. So it's interesting, but it'll, it'll certainly be a surreal moment. I always have a very tough time with the very last game of the season because it's, it's a very tough, it's a very tough day, you know, mentally for me just to get the headspace right of like, this is the last game of baseball I'm calling this year. And uh, also just to say bye to the guys, because I've, I've grown very close to a, a good amount of this team um and it'll be very tough to to say to say bye because i may not see some of these guys ever again david con joining us from the west virginia power don't forget the the power in action this weekend um this is going to be a tough weekend because you got football and you got power baseball yeah. all running in together with each other so uh opportunity for uh, power fans to uh maybe uh, take advantage of the full weekend of sports see a little football work a little power baseball in they can't come to the game. Of course, they can listen to it uh, on the internet. They can also uh, listen to it locally in the area. Also, if uh, you're going to the Power Game, of course, you can listen to the Marshall broadcast. And um, I, I think 93.7 The Dog, our our, our big flamethrower gets up there. I think we get you up there. Heard, heard yeah, football. Ab- yeah, we, we do. You absolutely do. Okay. And uh, if you do go to the Power Game, you can you can listen to the Marshall broadcast against BMI at 6.30 on Saturday. So, uh, you know, feel free to come to the power game and bring your transistor radio or, or headphones and tune in app or whatever and, and put on Marshall. I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, you know, Steve will be very appreciative of anyone tuning into him calling that game. And uh, we'll certainly, uh, we'll probably provide some updates on Marshall. Of course, WVU is playing earlier that afternoon. So if you want to go to a bar, watch the WVU game at two o'clock and then come to our ball game at six, well, look, that times out perfectly. So, uh, we're uh, we're certainly you know aware of the football that's happening, but uh, we still got baseball to come. You know, football is just getting started and and baseball is wrapping up. So get your last taste of baseball and then go enjoy your football. Okay, what date did we agree on again for the live air broadcast of Swan and Con? What date did we agree on? We, we, we well, we haven't announced that yet, but I was going to ask if you wanted. To, Let's but, do it. Uh, Let's make yeah, it happen. September September fourth, that Wednesday. September fourth. Okay, I uh, I've got that now. We we're doing the live broadcast of Swan and Con. Um, right. Yeah. The the drive. I'm I'm making the trip to the studio for the first time ever. Okay. Um, the drive presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank and Swan and Con. Uh, they'll have to share the sponsorship Correct. one day. Uh, it's well, it's just a live taping of Swan and Con. Um, what are we going to talk? What have we outlined this show yet uh, for for Swan and Con? Have we? We even have an idea of what we're going to do. No, and I think that's the beauty of it because I don't want to have an idea. Oh God, help do. us! I, I want to be I want to be hit by anything you can throw at me, and I'm just going to throw it right back at you. And we're going to have some we're going to have some guests or whoever you want to book, and and it'll be tremendous. Oh. I, I I I can't wait. First, first off, I can't wait because I want to go see. I, I would love to meet all of the adoring fans who are rooting for our podcast to, to be available. Um, I want to provide you with an official sticker for your candy jar that I know you're desperately needing. Um, <laughs> I do. I need, I, I need it. I, I know. I, I saw, and I, I want to help you with that. Uh, and I also uh, selfishly would like to try uh, the restaurant Deepito, which I know is in Huntington, and I've never tried it before. So I've heard a good thing, but I want to try it. Okay. You know who we should book for the show? Who? Chip Kelly. Let's make that happen. <laughs> if I could if I could do that, I'll certainly try. Yeah. On the program now, Chip Kelly, head coach, UCLA. Let's make that happen. Hey coach, how's it going? Uh that, that game against Cincinnati, your thoughts. <laughs> I like the idea myself. Uh let's do it. I mean, look, if I could make it happen, I'll I'll make it happen. But, okay, uh, it's it's not scary. gonna happen. You know that. No, it's not. Yeah. We'll come up. We'll come up with somebody. I yeah, mean, we'll we'll be fine. Let's uh, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe get a, a coordinator or something for you as UCLA football. That, that that way we can keep keep you uh you know you and and good with your uh with your 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 part time job there. 
<laughs> Which one's the part time well, job? Or they're both full time jobs, really? Well, it's, it's like it's technically speaking, they're both part time, but yeah, they're full. I mean, they're full time jobs. Like they they require a, a lot of hours. Okay. Like I said, I'm like I said, I'm, I finish one one thing and I move on to the next. We finished double header, and now I'm prepping for my UCLA thing tomorrow. David Kahn's our guest uh, from the West Virginia Power, and of course you can catch the broadcast uh, if you are not within earshot of the radio. You can of course listen online wvpower.com. David in studio next week for uh, Swan and Khan, the live studio audience taping of that. Uh, I mean, I hear the cheers now. I already, I hear them through the glass pane of your studio. All I'm hearing is road trip to Huntington for food. That's what I'm hearing out of this. <laughs> No, that's that's the prize after we finally uh, lay down the greatest uh, live taping show of, in history. <laughs> wow, the fans got uh, got a lot in store for them. Uh, so uh, we'll do that next week. Uh, we uh, we got a lot to get into next week. So uh, I'll start working. I'll plan that now. Um, you bring the stickers, the logo, and everything. You know, we'll 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 do that. You got to tell me what sticker you want though, and I'll I'll, I'll make it happen. Um, th- is there a choice? Um, I I thought I was just getting a sticker. It's your candy jar. What I know, but I, I, I thought you were just going to give me something, and I would be grateful to have it. But I get a choice. I, well, I could give you a million different things. I mean, I could I could throw a Marshall sticker on there, but I feel like that's too cheesy. Yeah. Like you know, I I, I could go a million different ways. But what do you? What, I could put a pirate sticker on there. Like, what do you want? Um, let's go with uh, maybe a, a you know definitely we might have to have a Marshall sticker on there just because. Okay. Okay. Uh, All we, right. Well, that, we that might, but we're, also right I think it should be. I think we should represent. So we probably have to have a power sticker there, or you know what? Maybe just get a bigger candy jar. Have you met my coworker? No, you will. You will next week. Yes, I will. Candy jar is almost empty. By maybe the way. I maybe I need a candy jar with a power sticker on it, and you need no. I need a candy jar with a Marshall sticker on it, and you need one with a power sticker on. It. I mean, I'll represent the power man. Power take care of me. I'll take okay. care of them. Um, yeah, and a larger All candy right. jar, um, because yes. um, you'll meet the folks and you'll understand why I need a larger candy jar. Well, I was going to say, when I come to the studio next week, whatever candy is left in that jar, I will personally clean out. So uh, you definitely need a bigger candy jar. Uh, I do, and I'm going to I'm going to be upfront with you and honest. Um, I do have a stash. Oh, I'm I'm sure you do, and if you didn't, I'd be very disappointed. Yeah, so I'm glad you do. Yeah, it's um, yeah, that's um, that's how I keep the peace around here. The candy jar. Right. Right. David Kahn, West Virginia Power, and my friend, my friend David Kahn from the West Virginia Power, joining us on the program. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, I'll talk to you sooner than next week uh, when we do the show. And uh, uh, everyone else, uh, you can tune in, uh, wvpower.com, the best place to start to uh, follow all the power action. I will talk to you soon, my friend. All right, Paul, sounds good. David Kahn, West Virginia Power. We're going to wrap this one up when we continue with today's edition of The Drive, presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Buckle up. Paul Swan has the wheel on The Drive, ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. One final time for this abbreviated edition of the show. Drive on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. This hour presented by Huntington Federal Savings Bank. Our phone lines, when we make them available to you, are always at 877-420-TALK. That's 877-420-8255. You can always join us on the Miller Lite phone lines. The Miller Lite hold true great taste. Only 96 calories. It is the original light beer. Now, it's coming up on the show tomorrow. Uh, we'll get you one step closer to kickoff. Marshall taking on VMI. We've also got a special couple of hours for you tomorrow. That's right. We've got not one, but two, two herd centric shows you need to tune into. First of all, we've got inserted herd athletics with Mike Hamrick. That's right. The athletic director is back, and we'll run that from 6 to 7 right here on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. And then right after that, you've got Doc Holliday. He'll have his coach's show, and that's going to run from 7 to 8. And you can also catch that right here on ESPN 94.1 FM and AM 930. Now, something new this year. Uh, I'm excited about it. You might have heard this already, but if not, this year we're going to be able to uh, stream a lot more Marshall programming on our audio stream. Now, it's going to be uh, restricted a little bit. So say if you live in Canada and you're listening to the podcast and you're like, oh, great, I can listen to The Herd using uh, 
the WRVC app? No, because uh, we've got to limit where we can stream that. And, of course, there's still the official uh, Thundering Herd uh, IMG stream. Uh, you can catch that uh, on TuneIn as well. But, uh, hey, we're excited because if you want to, say, listen to uh, Inside Herd Athletics with Mike Hamrick and you want to catch the stream, listen to it live, you got it at 6. Stay right there. Then you can hear the Doc Holiday Show come in at 7 o'clock. You don't have to uh, change the channel on the stream. So we're pretty excited about all of that. That's going to do it for this edition of the show. I want to thank David Kahn from the West Virginia Power. Also, uh, back tomorrow, uh, it will be a full hour. So uh, I hope we'll have um, – well, I guess what I'm trying to do here is uh, I've got a, a lot of player interviews. Uh, we're not just going to play them all. We're going to um, run down some of the uh, the key highlights, and uh, you know we'll lead all of that into the Doc Holiday Show coming up tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot planned for you. And uh, Thursday – uh, we'll have our Thursday night pick em. That's right, uh, week one of our pick em. Um, everything but the Marshall game is up for grabs tomorrow. So we'll, we'll talk about all of that tomorrow. Until then, good night. <laughs>